the weather outside is frightful. Hi, everybody. So, you wouldn't know it, but I'm heading to Georgia. Um, we got snowmageddon here. I'm in Minnesota, by the way. Uh, it's like f almost four in the morning, three something. Um, on a night that I was supposed to leave for a Georgia hog hunt, after not having any snow, like literally like two inches of snow the entire season, uh, today is February 15th, and we got like six inches of snow in a matter of like three hours. Uh, of course, it's on a day that I had to pretty much, you know, get in the car and bomb it down to Georgia. I'm going to Fort Stewart, uh, PBS hunt. Uh, it's okay though. Uh, at least I got to stay at home for like another few hours and um, get a few more hours of sleep. And uh, gonna head on down. Gonna get to meet a few uh, people that I've never met before and uh, make new friends and see old ones and stuff. So that's gonna be really cool. All right, I'm gonna go. See ya. Okay, so I've been driving most of the day. I am in Illinois, like southern kind of Illinois ish. And uh, I got about another 12 hours or so to go. And uh, probably gonna end up um, stopping somewhere, rest, rest area, whatnot, you know, late night and then finish it in the morning um, and get there in the morning so I can actually see where I'm going and actually set up, set up camp. Um, a couple of people are already there, talk to them. They've been scouting around. Uh, they're seeing lots of rooting sign. Um, they said lots of dead pigs on the road coming in, uh, coming into that base and stuff. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that, how that, all that, all that goes. It sounds like it's a, it's a good sign. So anyway, it's, uh, I don't know, late afternoon here. I figured I'd give an update and I think the next time, uh, you hear me is when I get there. All right. See ya. Okay. So I made it to Fort Stewart, got in this morning at nine ish. This is a guy I've been talking to for years. We finally got to meet. It's awesome. And we both, you know, both both wearing green here and then both got the hillbows going. So um, he's taking me to some spots here that, uh, um, you know, he, he knows the ins and outs a whole lot more than I do. My first time here, it's kind of cool. Uh, pretty cool system here where you check in, check out of different areas in this in this base. It's pretty well run. Um, we already ran into two hogs. They were crossing the road. Um, they weren't stopping. We went after them for... Um, I don't know, 80 yards maybe, not even. But um, we're gonna go check out more stuff. So, okay, that's it, we're on the hunt. All right, here we are. We got another vlog going and look, we got Emra <laughs> from Bow Hunting Soul with us. Howdy. Here he is, he's getting all done up, getting his guards on. I got, I got gators, I got gators going here. Yeah, he's being smart too, because yeah. it's uh, the temperatures are warm and we're going into rattlesnake country. So he's uh, getting himself all set up. We're about to go, uh, Give it a whirl and see if we can't get into hogs on our way over here. I went and picked him up at camp and on the way out to where we're coming, we just ran into two hogs that came across the road. Uh, we tried to get a stalk in on them and uh, they were just too far gone by the time we got there. But uh, we're, we're spending a day out here giving it a shot and he's ready to uh, make it happen. Getting all loaded up. He's got his beautiful uh, Pacific stick from St. Patrick's Lake Longbow over there. And he's getting all, all dialed up and ready to roll. You can't you can't hunt with Jason Samgoviak and not hunt with a hillbow. It's just it just wouldn't be right. <laughs> it's got to be part so, of the game. So so the Java man's back back at camp, but uh, today's today's hillbow day. Yeah, well, and you got you you got three days, so you got stuff to play with. That's right. Yep. So we, yep, we're gonna get him set up, and we're gonna get out here and chase some hogs around. A little camp set up here. Look at that fan go. I'm gonna make a video on that thing. Think, Jason. <laughs> we've been walking through this for how long? Do you think we've been walking through this? Quarter mile? How long? How long we've been walking through the water? About a mile. About a mile. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Memorous finding sheds. His first Georgia deer shed. This is my first shed ever. I've never 
never found a shed. Never found a shed before. Like deer carcasses, bones all the time, scapulas, whatever, vertebrae, skulls. Never found a shed. Oh, there's, there's your first, first shed. shed ever. Very cool. I'll put Things it in your. Looking up. It's gonna be good. I'll put it in your pack for you. I'm just gonna leave it here. You're not gonna take it? No. Do you want it? No, I got too oh, many. Well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> we got emeron hawks, also tangled up in a bush. so long before you get busted with the wind use the cover don't worry about the noise though yeah just use the cover oh he's right there hold on hold on shit he's right there That was what, uh, 18 yards? Maybe. Maybe. I was waiting for him to turn. Yeah. Listen to right there, they're not moving. Emra's working a hog right there. Did he? I think he's getting busted. Hey right, guys. So it's day three. Sorry I haven't taken a lot of video. I haven't even shown you video of camp, really. Um, been hunting with Jason for the last two days. Gonna go meet him again for uh, one last day here. Super thankful to that guy, by the way. He's, he's, he's taking three days out of his... Uh, his hunt basically to, to kind of guide me around and hunt together and that's uh it's very much appreciated i'm um, leaving the campground now it's uh really cool this again it's fort stewart it's an active uh army base and uh you know 
They have different zones where they close on and off depending on on the day, whatever training exercises they've got for the military. At night, um, you know, they, they, they're running uh, exercises, you know, artillery and stuff going off like in the distance. Uh, you hear like guns fire, like big guns firing, big artillery. It's kind of cool. It's very cool. Um, the roads we're on are just absolutely just sloppy 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 they were on tanks and big uh, track vehicles and giant tired military vehicles and stuff on them um there's no way no way in hell i would have i would have uh been able to you know do this with with the elantra i would have gotten down here but to actually go on these roads if i wasn't riding with jason uh we're riding in his uh jeep uh it was a gladiator right the the, the truck one but if, but uh you know pretty sure my wrangler could, could could handle what we were what we're going through but there's no way no way uh i would have been able to do this in the elantra so anyway uh that car's gone i love that thing but um 42 miles a gallon and all this thing got like 22 22 on the way down so a little 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 bit of a more of a hurt in the pocketbook but um anyway this is uh this 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 hunt is very very cool um on the way to meet him and do our last day and that's it basically we're gonna hunt all day hunt hard uh we put a lot of miles i mean a lot of miles in a lot of swamp um and i'm talking like you know we yesterday we went through one stretch for like over a mile um in you know in over uh like ankle deep calf deep um flooded out waters i mean the places you are getting into with with i mean we we've been in water the entire time um out of my comfort zone but it's awesome because i'm out of my comfort zone and i'm really liking that so um no i saw a bunch of gators i uh, saw two gators um you know snakes out there uh all, you know not too many creepy crawlies luckily the mosquitoes have been non-existent so at least that's a bit of a uh you know a respite and um uh beautiful weather it's been in the you know 50s and 60s it's gonna be a little bit cooler today in like the low 50s i think so but when you're walking around you know i'm just in in, in one of these merino tops um and uh yeah it's um rubber boots all the way all right so i think getting on the main road here out of the campground that'll be it uh i might do a few more here and then um we'll see how today today goes and wish us luck with hog hunting but what i'm learning down here is number one you got to be fast uh you know you we're, we're normally used to stalking in on things you know kind of slowly take your time um and, and i know pigs move but just the the amount of time that you have to spot one run up on it <clears throat> get within range and get a shot is like way 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 faster than than you than you would think would be prudent um so so that's a learning curve um the hogs are bigger like i said that's a learning curve that's that's crazy the size of the pigs i've seen out here uh just just like to me like it would be like a monster hog if you were to go to one of these uh, outfitter places that's number one uh so number two you got to be super fast you just you got to get on them you got to get on it and you got to be you can't dawdle but you also can't be seen you know that's that's the tough part and of course you know in all these uh, swampy areas and, and, and bottoms and things like that where the wind gets fickle um and then when you get that close you can't spend that much time <coughs> you can't spend that much time messing around right you gotta because the wind's gonna if, if they don't see you the wind's gonna swirl eventually and hit their nose and then they're gone so that's you know but, but, the, but the quickness that with which you have to do it was um is uh it's pretty 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 crazy um and the other thing is i'm used to them making a lot of noise i'm used to them making a lot of noise when they're eating and rooting and things like that or, or digging up the corn you know and they're they're squealing and like snapping at each other and, and whatnot um i knew it wouldn't be quite that vocal but they're not vocal at all and that was a big learning curve i'm trying to listen for like squeals and grunts and uh things like that that i'm that i'm used to with my experience pig hunting you don't have that here unless they're moving through brush or you see brush moving or you hear them scrape against brush or snap twigs or go through the water you're not going to hear them they're not making any noise when they're when they're rooting and things like that they're not they're not uh doing that contented eating uh you know rah, 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 you know that, that they do because that's been my experience again over bait 
totally, totally different. It took, it took almost a day to wrap my head around that. I was like, wait a minute, I'm listening for the wrong things. I'm, I'm listening for, for everything, but I'm, I, I gotta get it out of my head to like not listen for, for that, which was the primary thing that normally I, I would hear out of a pig. Um, and then start listening for, you know, put, putting more weight rather on listening for, for, for other things. So anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of it. Um, we're almost at the spot here. going to meet up with Jason, hop in and go, but I just thought I'd get those, uh, those thoughts down. Cool. Okay. Last day we were uh, about to head in. You're your last <clears throat> day. I live here. He lives here. Yeah. So, um, Learned, I was, I was just making a little thing on the way here. Like, learned a ton. Like, I learned a ton from, <clears throat> you know, my version of hog hunting versus, like, your version of hog hunting. You know what I mean? Like, uh, just the different, um, I was saying, like, the vocalizations. I'm used to different vocalizations here. Like, we're, I, I'm, I'm, you know, it took me a day to figure out that they're not going to make noise eating and all that stuff. I'm used to that, you know, the squealing and the uh, the contented eating stuff and um you know that's been new plus just all the like cool stuff i'm learning with uh you know all the, the knowledge you're dropping with like gators and snakes and why they do what they do and where they do it and all that stuff so uh that's kind of cool it's not every day that you get jesus sam koviak as your personal uh, uh guide uh his tab by the way this hasn't got not gone unnoticed has not come off his arrows in what three days now right. so um well except for the stump shoot so you know much appreciated uh, hopefully today we can. We're gonna put some we, logs down today. Hopefully we can we can we can fill a sack with some meat today. So that's all right. game plan. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Yep. Perfect. Make it happen. The adventures of yeah of hog hunting. These are these are, of course, it doesn't do it justice when you're trying to shoot. You know that doesn't look you know very big, but that's one of the smaller ones. Well, we did it. It wasn't the perfect shot. I got a back shot back here, and. Um, Probably won't show you any gore, right? But uh, there you go. There, there he is. Shot it up in there and uh, had a shot back. It was pretty far back, like right in front of the hip. Pretty far shot, I thought. It was over 18 yards, I think 18, 19. I'm not good at that, but it was a, I mean, it was broadside and the arrow just flew to the right. But either way, <clears throat> shot it trailed it through some uh, all this stuff here was able to get another shot on it be able to get another shot on it i mean i broke all my arrows i'm, I'm winchester except for this last one you know the green one um shot it a couple times shot it on the ground finished it off finally so nice 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 decent size nice pig there all right i'm gonna get deboning on here all right, so in the bag, right there, right there, first public land hog in well anywhere, Georgia. <laughs> Thanks to this guy, I cannot thank you enough. This was a personal guide of, I mean, you really can't get any better, right? So, um, awesome night. Kind of went a little uh, western there. I, I pretty much shot everything I had. Made a bad shot. Was able to sneak up on it again. Uh, shot it a couple more times, and then it was over. So he broke. He broke all my arrows except the. The very last one and i had to put my least sharpest arrow through them but anyway it, it worked out so i got meat in the bag meat in, uh, the bag. meat in the bag uh yeah that's it we're gonna we're gonna walk out of here um then i'm gonna go back to the campground shower up put this on ice on the way out and then drive home to minnesota but this was well it was worth it even if i didn't get a shot this was such a learning experience um this guy in the year how long have you been down here a year one year just so much knowledge it's unreal like you come down here and you you get like a lesson in biology you get a lesson in flora fauna all that <laughs> stuff so it's more than just a hunting trip so um just a guy i've been wanting to meet and hang out with for a long long time so this just walking home with a bag full of meat is just icing on the cake so and, right. a, be and a beautiful yeah. hog beautiful hog yeah nice size hog stock. yep everything about it was fantastic and uh you know on the last day you know, we were into hogs every single day. Yep. And had stalks every single day. Every single day, and, and this uh, was only well. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, this was this is one when actually like we let it let an arrow go, but um, but you had an arrow on a string every day. Every day. On hogs. Yep. And close. You were yep. inside of twenty on hogs every single day. But how hard did we hunt? I mean, I'm not trying to toot anyone's horn here, but I mean, all the, the crap that we went through yesterday, I've never walked through like <laughs> ankle deep swamp for what? How long did we do that? For a mile? We we covered some ground. And that was just that one one time you know we did it we did no way 
All right, last minute scare there. Uh, thought we had another. Thought one. we had, but uh, every every black stump down here is a hog with ears. You, <laughs> it, it, it's crazy. So um, anyway, thank you, Jason. I, I don't know how I can repay you. This was this was uh, awesome. The very I listened to this guy for the very first. I can't even tell you the podcast. It was Don't Believe the Hype. That was the name oh, of the podcast. Yeah. That was very when I was tiling my floor in my in my uh, townhouse, and I'm like, I like this guy. I wasn't even a shooting traditional bow. So, <laughs> and here we are, yep. what, seven, eight, nine years later, whatever, and I'm walking out with, uh, I got kind of a mentor. A so a hog in the back. A hog and a mentor. This is awesome. So <laughs> it's been a fantastic three days of hunting. We hunted real hard. I'm gonna you throw were, you some gas money too, because you know. put on some miles <laughs> no, but you were a trooper because there were a couple times because some of these loops there's things that we like here we've never been here i've never been here in my life where we're at right now yeah um but some of the uh spots i took you into um you know because of the floodwaters they got a little more hairy than i thought they would you yeah. know and you yeah. took it like a champ you know yeah. i mean we were watching alligators and, you know, i wasn't gonna push out in front of this guy i had no choice so. <laughs> yeah but, 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 but yeah but, but trust me but water is not my thing it's out of my comfort zone <laughs> and i'm glad i did it this this just is icing on the cake so, yeah, so. all right we're gonna walk out before it gets too dark out of here so thanks guys